Also in Smithsburg, you'll find Wingate Vineyards. When the winery first opened its doors in 1975, it was considered a pioneer. At the time, there were no other vineyards in the area. Today, the winery bottles over 8,000 gallons of award-winning wine every year. Wingate Vineyards and Winery started in an interesting way in that it was really pretty much against the rules. You couldn't really grow grapes in this quadrant of the state. With the help of our Amish neighbors, put in 5,000 vines. The first man practically through the door was the mayor of Punxsutawney. He did not wear a top hat, but he came in and made it known that he was keeping an eye on us. So with that stimulus, we decided we had to have something that kind of plunked his side of the world too. So we introduced the eye of the shadow. This is our rosé that uh, depicts, you know, who shadow, of course, it's Phil's. Do we have any wine now, tasting techniques we should do? Yeah, I yeah, think I've you never, should. I've never done this yeah. before. But you really ought to enhance the aroma by rolling the glass, shutting off the top, and putting your nose in there. Mm. Or my chest mm -hmm. up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. That's what happens when you take it in one big chug. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so between our wines, we're going to try a palate cleanser. Why cheese and crackers to cleanse your palate? You want to have a proteinaceous snack, like a cheese, to remove the tannins. Cheers. Cheers. Our white wine is called Mahoning Valley Mist. Now Mahoning Creek runs through Punxsutawney. It is a semi-dry. How do you tell if it's dry? Dry simply means not sweet. The aroma, the aroma. The aroma. Let's do it. Okay, now we'll go to a red wine. Uh, when we bring in the red grapes, we put them in the bins outside in the press pan. And for a week or so, they ferment on the skins. We're very cultured college students, but I do say so myself. <laughs> Graduating. Graduating. Hopefully.